Today I'd like to share with you how I do some of my savings throughout the year. Now, um, my husband and I went through a program called Dave Ramsey. Uh, he has some financial coaching, I guess you'd call it. We read some books of his and decided to go through some of the classes. This was many, 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 many years ago. And we've actually went through the classes a couple of times. Uh, at the time that we went through those classes, we actually used a lot of credit card debt. We were really overextended as far as our, you know, owning homes and, you know, big mortgages and all this other stuff. We were really living large, larger than our incomes. And through these classes and reading these books, we actually realized that we could control our finances if we just really worked on it. So I'd say it's been close to 20 years. We have been working on it and I'm retired now. Um, my husband's still working, but he'll be retiring pretty soon, probably within the next year or two. And um, I have to say it's been a life changer for me and for him. Um, I can't say I'm completely debt free because I do have a small mortgage, but most of everything else, we live on a cash basis. Um, I do use credit cards, although Dave Ramsey suggests not to really use them. I do use them. I just make sure to pay them off every month if I do. I don't carry any kind of balance, so I don't pay interest on them. But sometimes there's perks to having credit cards. Um, I use them for miles, for you know, free flying, so I have a credit card for flying, if there's things I can put on that card and get free miles, definitely I do it. I do use some cards occasionally, but today I wanna to talk to you about something called my savings envelopes. And these have probably been the biggest thing that have helped me personally throughout my debt consolidation, debt payoff, the whole thing, because I really work hard throughout the year to live on a cash basis. So let me show you how I do it. It's super simple. I don't make this complicated. I truly <laughs> live on an envelope basis. So what I'd like to show you first, I do just a really simple Excel spreadsheet. Um, I list the different things that I like to save for envelopes throughout the year. And then you can see every single month I fund my envelopes. I put the money in these different things that I have and I'm able to, you know, pay for things with cash rather than, you know, I know exactly where every penny's gonna go. So the reason I'm showing you this today is because tomorrow's New Year's Eve and I'm actually gonna be putting together a brand new Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna be taking a few things off. I'm gonna be adding a few things. And so this is gonna look a lot different in a couple of days. So this is my envelope system. And truly, it's just envelopes. So what I do is I take my envelopes and as you can see, there's different types of things that, you know, I have envelopes for. There's dog food, there's birthday. I actually have a UPS store. I like to use that for my mail. Amazon Prime, we have a vet envelope. We have groceries, a Christmas envelope, we have a household fund, Costco. This is just for basic necessities. Uh, this is a DMV envelope to pay my DMV, haircuts. And then someone, uh, one of my subscribers asked me about how do you save for vacation? And I actually have a vacation envelope. I keep you know, cash in there for that I have saved for vacations. And I have that available whenever we go out of town. Now, the beauty of the envelope system is that when you have enough money put together in your envelopes and something comes up or say, for example, I want to pay my DMV bill. I want to pay my... Uh, my money for my registration at the end of the year. 
I just pull the money out of my envelope. I actually put it in my checking account. I write a check, send it off, boom, it's done. I don't even have to think about it. Um, when we're ready to go on vacation, I take the vacation envelope. I kind of decide throughout the year, my husband and I sit down at the beginning of the year and we say, what do we want to do this year for vacation? Where do we want to go? Do we want to go on a little cruise? Would we like to go see our son who lives out of state? I mean, obviously that's like first priority for us. So we always make that happen. And we just figure out, okay, this is how much we estimate we're gonna need. We break it down into a monthly payment, just like we're paying a bill. And at the end of the time period that we've saved, we have that money to go on a vacation or pay our license for our DMV renewal, or go to Costco if we need to buy, you know, toiletries and things. We don't spend a lot of money at Costco, but I do have a Costco envelope because there's a few things there that really are really good savings if we do buy things there. And it's just been a really good way to guesstimate intelligently for the things that we're gonna need, and it's been extremely helpful. Now, if I was still paying off debt, I would actually have credit cards on here, and I would, I would pay those first. I would get rid of any kind of credit card debt that you can't manage by paying it off monthly, because the interest on credit cards can be anywhere from like 18 to 30%. I mean, nowhere can you get that kind of interest if you have your money sitting in the bank you're probably making a quarter of a percent so this is just money you're throwing away to the credit card companies and if you can find a way to live off of the money that you have coming in you're going to be in such better shape now as we've seen in 2023 even 2022 with the interest rates rising with the inflation going out of control, with the money we're spending at the grocery stores. So there's so many things that are out of control that it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's very hard for the average person to get ahead and you know maintain a decent quality of life with everything going up and our income still staying the same. So this is something that I do. I have found it extremely helpful. And um, so I'm posting this video. If anybody's looking to set up some financial goals for 2023, um, this is a great way to do it. If you go to the Dollar Tree, if you don't have any envelopes, you just buy a box of envelopes for a dollar, set this up. You don't need an Excel spreadsheet. If you want to you know, write out something on a piece of paper with your list of things that you want to save for throughout the year. Um, it's very easy. Once a month, you just sit down, you take the money out of the bank after you get paid, you put the cash in the envelopes, boom, it's done. And um, this has been a big help to me through the years. I've done this for like 20 years. It's, it's crazy. About every two, three, four years, I have to you know, throw these old envelopes in the trash and make some new ones, but I do it and it works out fine. So I recently did another video on a savings challenge that I'm doing. And this year I decided to actually list my savings challenges in my new Excel spreadsheet. So that way when I'm funding my envelopes, I'm gonna fund those at the same time. It's just gonna make it easier. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, if you are interested in maybe the savings challenge video that I did a few days ago, I'm gonna link it above. Feel free to watch it. It's got some good stuff in it if you wanna try to save in 2024. For me, it's a habit. And this has just become a habit. I love to save my money. I love to live on a cash basis. I just feel in control of my life. And with everything else in the world out of control as far as you know, money and interest rates and inflation, 
this does give you some control. You'd be surprised. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. If you're interested, give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. And I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. And I hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Happy New Year.